Can I, guys? Well, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean, over-the-top beautiful day, over-the-top beautiful day here in the end times. Here on this gorgeous, I think it is a Monday. A Monday. Where are we? Where are we, little dog? April 17th, 2023, somewhere like that. A little dog and I have found ourselves in Rocktown. In Rocktown, Georgia. We are at the top of Pigeon Mountain. The top of Pigeon Mountain. And exploring Rocktown. Of course, the damn sun is not uh, making it easy to take these. Come on, little dog. I don't know if the little dog has finally gotten himself a chippy or not. But, uh, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in Rocktown, Georgia. Come on, little dog. Good Lord. Uh, springtime is about a week behind. A 15 minute drive from here. Sancho! <clears throat> he says, Papa, I have been looking for a chippy. I have been looking for a chippy for how long? Come on, little dog! So, uh, anyway, I'm sitting here stumbling through Rocktown, Georgia. Thinking about how one missed step can fuck your life up. I was I was supposed to be here like five hours ago. We were supposed to be in Rocktown, Georgia, like five hours ago. But instead we have been immersing ourselves in the American medical system. Good God Almighty, what this nightmare has turned into. So, you know, when I was up there at that waterfall, Keown Falls, when was that on Saturday? What, day before, was that, was that the day before yesterday or is it already Tuesday? I am already losing track. Was that the day before yesterday? Seems like a year ago. When uh, my sister and I were, you know, we go up to these waterfalls and, you know, hiking up these steep hills and, and uh, st steep stone staircases. We're crawling all behind waterfalls, going through muddy, slick areas crossing creeks clambering over rocks like uh, wild banshees and uh, so all of that's behind us and we are we are on the uh, the final stretch I mean we have like a quarter mile to go the trail has now become like a four foot wide, basically just a a gravel, just kind of a gravel uh, walkway. And uh, we're sitting there talking about what to have for dinner having a conversation on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, on a Saturday afternoon walk through the woods, walking down an almost level uh, gravel walkway, she takes one misstep. Just one misstep. She is on her ass and uh, Good fucking God. I mean, I, I saw her fall. I mean, I was standing right next to her. And, uh, you know, she went down on her ass. I mean, it hurt like hell. Uh, 
and so she thought that she had a sprained ankle and so we just came on home and made margaritas and uh, she's been hobbling around on her sprained ankle so we go in today just to eliminate just to make sure her ankle is not broken we so at nine o'clock this morning it is now five o'clock this afternoon so at nine o'clock this morning we go in for a what we thought come on was like a 20 minute check she went to get an x-ray which we figured was going to take about 20 minutes and that is when all hell broke loose so they x-ray it and say her ankle is broken that right? she has broken her ankle my sister she's 71 years old has never broken a bone in her entire life 71 years old never broken a bone and uh I don't know if I can get past the tree or not. Am I still? Nope. Even I am too fat. <laughs> Even I am too fat to get through the uh, between the tree and the rock. Never broken a bone in her life. And uh, announced that she has a broken ankle and uh well a fractured ankle i guess was their word they used was a fractured ankle so they sent us from there down to some orthopedic uh whatever orthopedic come on little dog Sancho. it's about them right here uh so we go up to the next place you know, the people at the first place told her to go up there and get a walking cast on there. So we go up to the second place thinking we're going to get something called a walking cast put on. We go to that place where we meet up with these people who take more x-rays and announce that her... Uh, Come on. They announced that uh, her uh, her ankle is broken in two different places, two different places that she needs surgery. She needs all sorts of screws and pins in her uh, in in her ankle. They're saying that let's see so they're already telling her that she is not going to be driving for a minimum of six weeks that uh, she can forget about driving for at least six weeks well she's down here she lives in Vermont she is down here in North Georgia, pretty much Chattanooga, Tennessee. And at this very expensive Airbnb where we're holed up right now, they're telling her she is going nowhere for six weeks. And she has no... He, you know, it's it's just unfucking believable. So tomorrow, we're driving to Cleveland, Tennessee, to meet with some ankle surgery uh, for some consultation with some uh, ankle specialist, and then he is going to set her up for her surgery appointment. So, Come on now. Sometime in the... Come on, little dog. Sometime in the next week or so, I guess she will be going under the knife. And, uh... Oh, man. And this shit is going on and on and on. 
This woman has never broken a bone, never had surgery since the day she was born. Her entire, they're probably, they're already talking four months in a cast. All of these fucking pins and screws in her foot. Uh, Jesus Christ. And so here I am. Uh, I'm supposed to be on, you know, I thought that I might be back in New York as early as two nights from tonight. Now, all of my plans to get back to New York and meeting up with uh, people on the way back that I was looking forward to hooking up with, all of this shit has been thrown into disarray. <sighs> oh, God. So anyway, I am enjoying being able to still take a hike with my little dog while I still can. I, I mean, one wrong step. One wrong step. You think that you're planning dinner, planning dinner and uh, going home and making margaritas. And the next thing you know, you're off to uh, getting ankle surgery, trying to figure out how the fuck you're getting from Georgia to Vermont. I mean, she, she's, I mean, just the Airbnb bill is going to be in the hundreds of dollars. Uh, just the Airbnb bill. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I'm telling you. Really appreciate having two feet underneath you before you find yourself with one foot. <laughs> you know, I just spent five weeks. What I've been doing in Texas for five weeks was taking care of my friend, you know, who had a stroke. My 80-year-old friend, I guess, who woke up one morning thinking she was going to go take uh, Sancho Panza for a walk. Just another morning in the end times. Thinking you're going to get up in the morning and take a dog on a walk. And next thing you know, there you are. Your life fucked. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> so I, for the second time now, I'm taking care of a crippled old lady. And then I stopped in Atlanta to, to meet Sassy, meet up with Sassy Dragon. She's not even an old lady. <sighs> Finding out all this bad news about some sort of spinal disc degeneration. Oh, Lord, we're all falling apart. Sancho! It is a fine, fine day in Rocktown. I can just make it out of here without falling on my ass and killing myself. Anyway, get out there and enjoy Rock Town while you still can. Yes, little dog, where are you now? At least my little dog has four feet. Of course, my little dog is at his own uh, his own adventures. <laughs> I guess maybe he has three feet. How many feet do you have, little dog? I'm a little, I mean, a few days too early. This is the uh, mountain laurel, which is getting ready. 
guess I'm a few days too early on the on the mountain laurel. And look at this beautiful piece of flagstone. And Lord getting ready to get back to New York, baby. Get back and get to work. Get back and get to work. Yes, I should be happy I'm still able to get out there and get to work. Uh, growing old is not for pussies. Mm. I have no idea how to find my way out of here. I've been paying exactly zero attention to... Uh, <laughs> where I've been I guess you're just supposed to keep wandering around these rocks <clears throat> and just hope you find your way back out again there's no signs no nothing you just get here to rock town <laughs> no little trail blazers sun is going down And I'm starting to think about grilling a chicken and making a margarita. I think this is uh, the same chicken we were talking about grilling two days ago when this whole fucking disaster cranked up. <sighs> Little dog, do you know how to get out of here? Are we lost in rock town? I think the little dog and I are are lost in Rock Town. I mean, you'd be I'd, I'd be completely fucked right now. And make one wrong step, one wrong step, the sun is starting to go down. It's supposed to be 43 in the at the bottom of this. It's probably going to be pretty much close to freezing tonight. Uh, I'm wearing sandals, I have no socks, no jacket, uh, you know, hiking up here alone, having no fucking clue how to get back out of here. <laughs> All right, little dog. I think we need to start figuring out how to get the hell out of here. We've been walking in for 18 minutes. Now we have to figure out how to get the hell back out. Get out there and enjoy getting lost in the woods while you still can. Just watch your step. You never know when your last step really will be your last step when your next step will be your last. All right, little dog. Figure out where in the fuck we are. You know, I've heard that you follow the dog back when you get lost, and that the dog will take you back. So we're gonna follow the little dog Sancho Panza is going to keep me from dying of exposure in Rock Town. <laughs> oh, good Lord. My guys.